Hello friends and happy Friday. This is Pastor Edwin Estevez here at Grace Church in downtown Wilmington. And in just a moment, I'll tell you about where I'm standing and why. But first, some announcements. This Sunday, we conclude our sermon series on exile. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've looked at what is exile, the sense of estrangement and alienation we experience in our families, we experience in our communities, we experience in our world, and ultimately we experience with God. This the second Sunday, we looked at uh, what is the promise of exile? What does God promise to do in exile? How can exile teach us about our not only our human condition, but also the hope of our healing, and that ultimately we will be brought home? And this coming Sunday, we look at how we live as exiles, because the reality is even as people of faith, we live in a world where there's estrangement and alienation. So how do we faithfully live? So I'm really excited uh, to share that with you on this Sunday. So I hope you'll tune in in the variety of ways that you've been doing, whether it's on virtual worship on Facebook, on YouTube, on our website, gracechurchwilmington.org, or if you tune in to our radio broadcast at 8 o'clock on 96.9 FM. And of course, I encourage uh, those of you who've been coming to the outdoor prayer service to continue to come. Uh, we continue to work on getting outdoor patio heaters uh, and uh, making that space more comfortable even as it gets colder. And of course, we welcome all of you who are able and feel comfortable uh, to uh, join us for Sunday morning at nine o'clock for our outdoor prayer service. Uh, that also leads me to a very important announcement. The governor has announced new restrictions and a return to phase one for the state of Delaware. Here at Grace Church, the crisis team and the leadership team and the trustees have all very wisely uh, spaced out our uh, phases and looked to, to protect our staff and to protect, of course, visitors and those who are vulnerable in our community. Our food distribution will continue to be outside. We're going to encourage people uh, to remain outside even as they get bus tickets or hygiene bags or snack bags to go. Uh, we encourage that our meetings would remain online. Uh, most of our meetings had been online. We encourage that to continue. Uh, and uh, we encourage those of you who've been visiting uh, the campus or the building regularly uh, that you would do so only if absolutely necessary, uh, but that you would do uh, what is wisest and safest for you and your family. Uh, for those of you who are in restricted facilities, uh, locked down facilities, have travel restrictions, our prayers are with you. We know this is, this is challenging. We know we're all sick of this, and we're also mindful of those who are sick. And so we want to do our best to care for our neighbors. We want to do our best to care for one another. So I hope you'll continue to wear a mask. You'll continue to practice social distancing. You'll make wise decisions around travel uh, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. We know this is going to be a strange season, but we know we're not alone. We are surrounded by the presence of God, and that presence of God is also made manifest through friends and people of faith that call us and reach out to us and remind us of who we are and whose we are. Do not forget that even in these challenging times. We hold on to that hope that we will, in fact, me again. Uh, friends, the other announcements I want to share with you uh, is, of course, uh, we are absolutely thrilled and affirmed by your response to the 2020 challenge. We're halfway there to our goal of raising $20,000. We set that goal at the beginning of the 2020 challenge in total faith, and you have stepped up to the challenge. So thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are still considering stepping up to the 2020 challenge, we hope that you would do so prayerfully, that you would do so joyfully, and you would do so as an act of worship. If you believe in what we're doing here at Grace Church, believe in the ministry and outreach of food distribution and the bus, bus tickets and the snack bags and, and the worship services and making them virtual and, and available on the radio, um, all the different things that come to being a community of faith, we hope that you would support us in step up in this very challenging year to the 2020 challenge. So thank you to those who have given, and we ask you to spread that news, tell a friend, and invite them and encourage them to step up to the challenge. Uh, the other thing I want to let you know about uh, is we also have this awesome opportunity for Christmas giving. You're going to learn more about it uh, this coming Sunday. We're going to share it in our spires and in the communication to follow. Uh, but this is a way of looking at the strange year. And while we would usually be shopping and, and giving and receiving gifts, 
What if we could look at gift giving alternatively this Christmas? What are ways that we could support our deaf community ministry and, and going to camp next year? Or we could help Grace Church practice better creation care by going fully LED on our campus and sponsoring a bowl. What are the different ways that we could look at giving gifts alternatively and doing them in honor of our friends and family across the country who we might not be able to see? Or in honor of loved ones who have passed away and won't be celebrating these holidays with us. This is a meaningful, life-changing, faithful way uh, to give this Christmas season. So I hope you'll consider that and learn more about it. And uh, lastly, I want to tell you about where I am standing. I am standing in our art gallery portion of the lobby. Uh, this was, of course, uh, a, an art exhibition uh, that was put on with the help of Jan Broski uh, and the Lumina Arts Ministry, Meredith Height, uh, Estevez, and uh, this is Jen uh, Hintz uh, Eggers uh, that uh, put this on, this beautiful telling of the story of Creatrix Rising. Uh, of the, the, the beauty, miracle, and, um, and the faith perspective of motherhood and the connection to the seasons and to the moon and, and to, uh, to plants and flowers and light. Um, and so we are grateful for all the many ways that she blessed us with the beauty of this art. Uh, we are grateful that we could have it here in a virtual and hybrid session that we celebrated uh, for our art loop. And this was a creative way to engage with our community. So we are so grateful for your support for ministries like this that really make a difference to our artists, to our local artists, uh, and support and affirm them and make it available to our community. And speaking of our community, this coming Tuesday, our Food Bank of Delaware uh, will be here at Grace Church. We are always encouraging volunteers to sign up. Uh, uh, yes, it's cold. Bring something warm. But if you'd like to volunteer, please get in touch with Pastor Chelsea or reach out to the church. Let us know that you plan to be there and you plan to have a neighbor or friend uh, with you. And please do so in a way that's safe and healthy, wearing masks and practicing social distancing. So that's Tuesday, Food Bank of Delaware. We're going to bless our neighbors before Thanksgiving. And friends, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Happy Friday.